Angie, Angie, when will those clouds all disappear? What's up guys? Kevin here from Relax and Learn Guitar, where I help music lovers over 40 become the guitar players they've always wanted to be. And if you've always wanted to tackle Angie by the Rolling Stones and thought, might be a little bit out of my reach. I'm gonna go over a very beginner version of this song today. I'm gonna show you a beginner strum pattern, but I am also gonna kind of move up a little bit in an intermediate area and show an even cooler strum pattern you can use for this tune, so stick around. So for the chords for this one, you'll need to know an A minor chord, an E7 chord, a G chord, F major 7, and a C. We are going to throw in a little D minor chord. But with all those open chords, you can play this cool classic rock tune. If you'd like to learn three more classic rock tunes using just five chords, stick around. At the end of the lesson, I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to start with this strum pattern, really kind of beginner, basic down strums on the beat. One, two, three, four. So you're going to get four down strums starting on that A minor. And G to E7, four strums. And G. G just gets two strums. When will the F major 7 for two strums? Clouds all disappear. Down, down, C, one time. So that F major 7 gets two down strums, and then two quick ones, and then to that C for one down strum. So then on top it's this. E7, G twice, F major 7 twice, two fast, then C for one. And that covers the verse for you. If you like this lesson, you'll probably like more of my lessons, so be sure and subscribe to the YouTube channel, come back often for lessons and live streams, it would really help us out, I love bringing you guys lessons each week, and subscribing would help us keep doing that. Thanks. So when Keith is just killing it on the intro of this song, you can really get by with just kind of playing those, these, this chord progression. So for this chorus, we're going to change the strum pattern just a little bit to add some interest. It's going to be a down, 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 up, down, up. And that's one strum pattern. Starts on that G. This is the uh, with no loving in our souls and no D minor, A minor, C. You can F major seven. That is G twice. And it's back to the and G. repeat that. I like putting in those two different strum patterns to kind of still be in that beginner level and have some nice interest to it. So for a more intermediate strum pattern to begin the song, because we're going to leave that chorus alone, just use that strum pattern for the chorus. It's going to sound great. Now if you want to move things up a little bit from strumming just on those down beats, we could do a different strum pattern for the beginning of the song. It sounds like this. So this one's a little more tricky, so stick with it. For this A minor, and an E minor, and an E7, we're gonna go with a down, down, up, down, down, up, down. That's just one pattern there, one kind of measure. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And G. all disappear now you'll notice for that G and that F major 7 nothing really changed it's down twice on the G twice on the F major 7 and two quick ones on the F major 7 and C I like to do this at the end of the C 
So at the end of that C, you're gonna do up, down, down, up, down, up. And that gives you a little more interest. If you listen to the song and kind of start there, you can always add in more strums later uh, to play along with that record, but uh, really good start here for this classic rock tune. So if you'd like to learn three more classic rock tunes using just five chords, check out this video where I show you exactly how to do that. Enjoy this Stones tune, add it to your set list. Remember, you're never too old to learn. I'll see you guys for the next one.